guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and me and my pointer friend are back today for my office tour 2020. I have done this video, this will be year three and actually I did a whole bunch of these back like eight years ago when I lived in an apartment. But I'm excited to show you my office. We're gonna go around, I've already shown you some stuff which I'll link to. It's actually pretty funny because we just are making a big change in here. So while we're in the corner, I share my office with my husband. So this is my setup, Whoop, this is my setup, and that's him over here. Recently, he was lined up with me, and by recently, I mean actually yesterday, but for his birthday, he really wants a new chair to like play games and watch movies in, because I think I mentioned in a previous video, in our living room, neither couch faces the chair directly. They're both like lined on the sides. So he's gonna get a chair, and that's gonna go right there. So we just moved that back. We were gonna go to Ikea and get it, but they did not have them in stock. But anyway, let's just get to it. Uh, this is a pretty accurate description of what it is. It's actually probably a lot neater than usual, but I can't get much cleaner than this and still get you a video. So it's real life. Um, that screen is popped out of that window because we actually had to hang a banner outside at one point and we now need to put that back. So, and by one point, I mean September 2019. So, it's been here a while, but that's fine. So anyway, yes, okay. This is all his stuff. We're gonna ignore it, and this is his closet. Also gonna ignore it. I stuck that there basically when we moved in, and it has never fallen off. So, um, Noodles has her bed right here. It used to be in the back. Now it's in the front because we pushed him back. And this was just a rug from Five Below, and I think it will work perfect for here. And it was five dollars so that's pretty perfect his desk again we're not gonna talk about it he has a double monitor thing and the stand actually like broke into his desk but it's fine now so yes okay my side um ignore my cords again yikes we'll just cover them up you should have seen my desk tour if you watched that video if you didn't i will link it here here i don't know where it links i don't know if it flips or not it will be linked up above to see that video if you hadn't. Um, this is my lamp. That used to be my only source of light in this room until we got overhead lights. It is not very much light, so I'm very happy we have overhead lights. And this is where I hang my current diamond painting. I haven't diamond painted in a really long time. I seem to need to kind of be in the mood for diamond painting. And I'm never in the mood right now, but that's fine. It's there waiting. It's actually on like a pants hanger which I find holds them pretty well. So there's that. Okay, um, my desk, again, you've seen it. I am a scrapbooker, so I hang up some recent projects and also I hang up, I keep getting notifications. I got this as like a bridal shower gift that I just hang some stuff up on. A lot of these pictures came with it, I don't know. So yes, next to my desk is actually this like shopping cart thing. What are those called? Like. You know, anyway, um, Tuesday morning in my area is closing. It's basically like a TJ Maxx, but they had a good craft section and it's closing and it was really sad, but we went in there as like a final sale and they're like, oh, we don't have bags anymore. Do you want the, the hand cart? And I was like, yes, yes I do. So I have a hand basket. So a lot of the stuff in there is stuff that I need to haul and that's why it's here. I'm gonna figure out what to do with it afterwards. It's a giant book that won't fit, but you should be seeing all of those things, hopefully as my next video. I'm waiting on one more box and it's driving me crazy, but yes, okay. Yes, that is my trash bag that I always keep next to me because crafters make trash and I just think it makes sense. Okay, another video to watch out. This is my coloring cart. You should have seen that. If not, hopefully, maybe, I think over here. So look out for that one too. And then we'll turn a little bit more. Here is my second cart. That is another Raz Cog. These are from Ikea. And that is a scrapbooking cart. I'm gonna show you all of it. And this is also another Ikea drawer unit. I wanna say this is part of the Alex drawers and it's just like the wide ones. So I'm gonna go through all of these things. This set is from Michael's. So I don't know if they have that anymore, I got that, I want to say, at least eight years ago. There's actually a video on that too, but I don't even know if I can find it, so I'm not going to try. On top of here is usually my sewing machine, but my aunt actually borrowed my sewing machine because her broke. Hers broke. 
And then this guy was hanging on the wall, but I don't know if you can tell. These are like textured wallpaper that came with the house and nothing sticks to it. So I actually had another painting up there and it fell off and that didn't fall, but it fell onto my desk and thankfully I wasn't there, but I did cut myself on the broken frame. So that was fun. Okay, so this first unit, that is a Ot light. They're very popular. I hate mine. I don't know. It's like whatever the shape of this one was. I never remember that it exists. So I have not used that in a long time. But let's go through my drawers. Okay. All right. I forgot this was here. And you'll see later why that's surprising. But these are all Project Life cards. That's it. Um, I I desperately want to get back into Project Life, but haven't in a long time. So hopefully I will soon. Also, I'm trying not to get myself in the video as much as possible because, yeah, I'll, okay, hold on. This is all random embellishments for scrapbooking. This is a stack of Christmas related embellishments. There's like some more. And then a bunch of random stuff that didn't really have anywhere else to go. Yeah, if you see my reflection, I'm wearing what I'm calling my quarantine uniform because I bought the same pair of sweatpants, three pairs, so that I can just continuously rotate them. But anyway, this is where my extra diamond paintings are. So I have a few of them and then underneath there are full sheets of stickers for scrapbooking. So like the 12 by 12 sheets. Uh -huh. The beginning of my washi tape. So this is all like seasonal stuff. And then I just have some extras that I either didn't have space for or whatever. This, these drawers have the same problem as my desk does, if you saw it, which is they go back farther than, let's see. So it goes back that far, which is really frustrating, especially with small things, which you'll see in the next drawer. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. They're, they're nice size in general. So I have these like on the lid of a Project Life box that I can like move them around and things. There's nothing behind them right now, but you'll see in the next drawers. That's not always the case. So this is washi drawer number two. Behind there, I actually have my jars of buttons. My name is Danny Buttons. I love buttons. So I have a bunch of jars of color coordinated buttons that are back there. So washi tape number two. All right. And then washi tape number one. So this drawer is my solids or like single color washies. And the second drawer was um, multicolor patterns, icons, things like that. So I love my washi. I really have stopped buying washi tape. I got some questions on this. A lot of these I bought eight years ago. I went crazy. So now if I do buy some every once in a while, I'll buy some from Michaels all other craft stores like that. There is an annual scrapbooking convention that I usually end up picking like 20 rolls at. That's one of the things I buy from there. So I've calmed down though because I have a whole heckin' ton. Okay, this cart, I'm not gonna go in as detailed because I don't know if any scrapbookers are really watching me anymore. But again, it's from Michaels. The bottom shelf is, I don't know if there was another one of these, but if there was, I took it out and now it is all paper pads. So these are all 12 by 12 paper pads. It's actually overstocked 12 by 12. This was in my scrapbooking bag, but I took it out because I put my scrapbooking bag away, which you'll see very soon. This drawer has random embellishments. This drawer has any punches I have and like other bigger wooden embellishments, things like that. And then on the top, these are all my thickers. This is a magazine holder under there that they do fit really nice in, but I haven't been putting them away and there are definitely overflow at this point. And these are also two magazine holders, which I have all like other letter stickers that are not thickers and regular like six by 12 stickers. I have a roll of, what are you? Vinyl? I don't know, I wanted to wrap one of my carts, but it did not work out because I don't know what I'm doing. And a roll of wax paper, which if you're using stickers a lot, you could put it on the wax paper first and then like move it around. I also have a gavel because in college I was uh, president of a club and we made a joke that I needed a gavel and then they bought me one. Also, there's my pool. So that's what I sit in. We had a really bad storm and that's why there's leaves all over. But hey pool, you can't, yeah, there's a bench. It's a nice time. Okay. Cart number two, I can pull this one out a little bit, but I'm still not gonna go too crazy. 
So this is my second Raz card. Ooh, I just walked into Sam's desk because it's not normally here. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is super wiggly. I'm trying really hard to stay steady. This one is for basically anything that's not scrapbooking. So the bottom shelf has my diamond dot storage for the, the paintings I'm currently working on. I don't know if you can see that. I keep them in those containers. And then extra diamond dot supplies. Then underneath that has some more, I think, Project Life cards. And then on this side, it has a bunch of small letters and stickers that I predominantly use for Project Life. This middle shelf, I'm trying so hard to stay steady, I don't know if I am. I talk with my hands, that's why this guy is great, but I think I'm talking with this hand too, and that's not as great. This middle shelf has uh, like a project book. It's like actually a wedding album thing that I'm trying to work on. This is a box of like glitter washi. It has my hard drive to back up my pictures. It has my current printed pictures for scrapbooking. And it has my headphones that I use for game nights. I have some of these hanging things. This one has a bunch of stickers and labels. This one apparently has my glossy accents, my undo, which I think that they're discontinued and it's really sad. Some plastic straws that I never remember I have and just random pens and stuff. This top section has my hopeful reads for upcoming like these are the ones I wanted to read this month and I just take them from here and then this is a bunch of planner stickers that I don't plan with stickers as much as I used to because obviously there's not as much to plan right now so hopefully I'll get back into that or at least use those up and then I also have my light board for diamond painting okay so I'm gonna show you in the closet but I didn't so first let's go to this big guy let's zoom out i.e. back up and show in all his glory. These are the Calyx units, I want to say. I'm hoping that's the new name, not the old name. Also from Ikea, if you haven't noticed, basically all of the furniture in my entire house is from Ikea. We live about 15 minutes from Ikea, and when we moved to this house, we basically had to start over with all of our furniture, so we got a ton of it from there. And... I like it. It's been working up. We, it's been holding up well. We've lived here for four years and really haven't had no problems with the furniture. So <clears throat> on top, I have one of these spinny things from Michael that I really never use and it's basically for backups. And you can also see the shelf for my sewing machine that's back there. I have a typewriter. That typewriter was my aunt's and I've always loved the idea of typewriting and it should actually work and it's just fun. To type 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 on it and I also have my original Beanie Baby and then I like bought the same guy like six probably 10 15 years later not six years later and then I have some other Beanie Babies that Sam's oh it's focusing on the hand that is Sam's uh honeymoon hat honeymoon Mickey hat and some scrapbook albums that no longer fit on the bottom and another spinny pencil thing I used to have a picture up there but I ended up putting it in my living room so that's why there's empty space then this, this thick, thick album is actually my grandparents' wedding album. And we actually recreated some of the pictures from their wedding in our wedding. So that was pretty cool. Then this is a turtle serving dish that I just had to have because I love turtles. And right now I don't have anywhere to put it. So I think it also has extra washi and packaging and all that fun stuff. And these guys, photo boxes, I think one's missing because I had six. So that's fun. But that's where I put stuff. I think there's actual photos in there. So from when Sam's little, also I switched hands, but now he looks weird because he's like coming in the wrong way. Okay, um, so a bunch of Sam's baby pictures, a bunch of backlogs when I used to print every picture. I used to print like doubles or triples of every picture because I was like, well, I need one for an album and one to hang on the wall and one to scrapbook. But no, you don't need that many. So that was me being silly. So that's what's up there. I think also my acrylic paint is up there in one of those, some, the old stuff. So, okay. This whole top row is mostly decorative, but we can run through it pretty quick. So this is like a love one. And I actually had, um, for a wedding gift, my cousins made us bobbleheads and they were in here, but now they're in our bedroom. I moved them, I'm switching hands back. This is weird, okay. This is, I made those boxes. They're like book boxes, but you can't really see them, but we have like uh, movie stubs, fun stuff. I was pretending to collect cameras. Another one of them is now in the bedroom. And then like, this is a shark, pencil sharpener, a turtle eraser, and my little aliens, and a camera tape dispenser. My Sum Sum collection, I went crazy for a little bit, calm down now, and I made that candle. That's why it's in a yogurt jar. 
Um, a bunch of just Disney stuff all over the place. I painted this. It's Mrs. Potts now. I won that at Dave and Buster's. Won that in Disneyland. And in the back, it's really impossible to see and it's sliding down. It's actually a softball jersey that was my mom's. If you don't know, she passed away when I was 11, but I have that jersey and I kept it and I love it. So, and then this last box, this is really hard with Sam's desk here. Let's move Sam's desk chair out of the way. Oh, I hope nobody's throwing up right now from all the moving. Okay. Yeah, so that's my Funko Pops that are not Disney. I have a big Disney collection and they are in the living room with the Disney movies and then just an, uh, some of my turtles. And I make these paper stars. So I'm trying to fill up that whole bucket. All right, so row of cubes. <clears throat> I think we can go through them. This is adhesives. This is random crap. So there's felt, there's like cross stitch kits. There's popsicle sticks in there. This is my acrylic paints and then jars of things. So I can't really see what's in there myself. Sequins, paper flowers, things like that. This one is yarns. <clears throat> and this one is my sewing box. So again, I lent out the supplies to my aunt, but this is where I have extra, all my fabric. Okay, next row is another usable row. So this is all journals and activity books, mostly journals, mostly old planners, things like that. This is where I keep them. These are my old bullet journals. Also, my real hand's in it. What's the point of pointy? Uh, this is larger notebooks, some a jumble or two. I won this at a scrapbook expo and I actually made this in high school, that jar, and it just has some random stuff in it. This is in the back. Those containers are wood veneer for scrapbooking. So little wooden trinkets that I never remember I have and I need to. And then a box of all my paint brushes. Um, this is my jar that I keep my extra diamonds in after my paintings are done. I love that. I painted it like that. This used to be where my buttons were before they were color sorted. <clears throat> Those are binder clips. Another random Beanie Baby. I actually had like recently found my collection and I just decided to keep a few because I don't actually need all my Beanie Babies. But of course, as a child in the 90s, I was obsessed. This is another little unit. Those are the stars, the paper that I used to make the stars, a heart punch, a really big notebook. It's got like 700 pages. These two make stickers. Again, never remember to use them, but I really would like to. And then this unit has stickers. So these are like the dollar sticker books for Michaels, sticky notes, a whole big overflowing collection and coin wrappers. Uh, for whatever reason, my dad and I love to like collect and wrap coins. So I have a bunch of that. <clears throat> this scrapbook paper, I got these units. There are actually two sets of shelves in there. They think they're a We Are Memory Keeper and I got them from scrapbook.com and they fit perfectly. And this is a good chunk of my paper now, which is not the worst. Obviously you saw all of my paper pads, so I don't know. Um, the bottom is all finished scrapbook albums, except that one's not used yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm very close to running out of space. I have been scrapbooking consistently since like 2007. So basically these are like one a year. Some of them are specific. Like I think one of them is our wedding album and honeymoon. One of them is Disney itself. The first time we went, that's Project Life, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know, I'm running out of space. Don't know what to do. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess, which is kind of now, which is why those extra ones are up there. But anyway, this is junk. So we're not gonna show you that. This is like tools. So like um, extra printer paper for my photo printer, my heat gun. This makes letters like Banner Maker. Um, this is all my coloring supplies that are, or a these are empty boxes. And then this is like crayons and like more childish, I guess, coloring supplies. Can we see in there? I have like the 120 box of crayons that Sam had gotten me. I don't know, that, that's what's in there. And then we got clay supplies. I dabbled in clay making for a little bit, it's fun. And then we got, this is like construction paper, which is what's on top. 
and six by six paper pads. So, and that's an envelope maker. So that is what's in there. All right, we're on the move again. I'm so, so sorry. I don't know how to make this nicer. Let's go back to the closet and really expose ourselves here. This is um from, I think, 1994. We can't tell what it says. This is possibly from the first ever time I went to Disney. I think that says 1991, like it's on the thing. But it was me doing my thing, so... It was me reading some books, Winnie the Pooh, Disney Forever. And this was one of those dogs in the 90s that like could do flips and like would walk on its own. It wasn't a real dog, but I have very curly hair. Okay. The closet. Whoa, baby. So that's a general overview. This is the poster I used to have hung in my dorm room of pictures of me and my mama. So that's what that is. I guess we'll start at the top. It's going to be a lot of pointer man in here. That is my traveling scrapbook case that is up there because my scrapbook expo this year got canceled. I'm very sad. I think and hope these are empty boxes of Project Life, but I have a feeling that they are not and that there are more cards in there. And I will have enough cards for the rest of my life. Though, if you do do Project Life, Becky Higgins like shut down the physical cards. So there's that. These are a bunch of random embellishments. So sequins and like wood veneer and a whole bunch of fun stuff I don't even know. And I think the bottom one is my finished clay creations. This is my sticker collection from when I was a kid. So that is like Sandy Lion stickers and I don't know what the other brands were, but stickers from the coin machines at the grocery store and things like that. So I'm trying to keep them safe up there. This is candle supplies, as you can see. So a big jug to melt wax in and some stuff for that. These are canvases and my uh, Disney pin collection. These boxes got beat up. That's why they're in here instead. Who knows what's in them? I keep basically all my boxes for electronics. I definitely don't need to, but I do. That tackle box I think is just full of turtles right now because I have a lot of turtles. Hanging up, I have my sweatshirt. I told you I always have a sweatshirt with me. And then I have some storage things that I hang until I need them. Um, let's see, excuse me sweatshirt. This is a whole, excuse me sweatshirt, whole big stack of those iris containers. I definitely just collected them over the years and I actually had given some away and so I bought more but then I got them back and now I have too many. Um, I wish there was a better way to store those. I know that there's like a unit that you can buy that is basically each shelf is sized for one, but it comes with more of them. So that is not what I need. So they're basically just stacked. A bunch of them are empty at this point. And um, a bunch of them have like Christmas paper that I only need one time of year. And then I have one that's like paper to share in case anyone wants a scrapbook with me. And I'm bad at sharing because I'm an only child, but that is the bucket I will share from. Um, this is more paper. That is my watch box because again, I keep all my boxes. Can't help myself. More paper. Also, more paper. <laughs> Love paper. In here, you can see my Neo Color 2s pe peeking out. And I think my Kuretake paints peeking out. So there's that. Um, this is my current scrapbook, this orange one. Um, page protectors, like 12 by 12. And then this is Project Life page protectors. I actually bought this dictionary at a library book sale for like I'm sure a quarter, and I'm attempting to use it to do art on it. So I'm just gonna rip it up because it is very, very old. It hurts me to rip it up, but I think using it for art is better than letting it get thrown out in general. Um, and this is like a flow book, which I never remember to have. So I have that problem a lot. Okay, these two containers are Project Life cards. I actually recently just sorted them by color which I think is going to be helpful to me overall. So this top one is mostly by color. I don't know if I can safely get these out. I think I can move this a tiny bit. So it's in those types of boxes. So this top one is actually pretty color coordinated. So like the reds and pinks are in the pink box, the blues are in the blue boxes, etc. And then this bottom one has like the multicolor ones and it has specific packs that I wanted to keep together. So whether it's holiday or just like, I think I have a recipe pack. Things like that. So I really need to be getting into Project Life because I could Project Life for the rest of my life and still have cards left. This is a picture of my papa when he was a baby. I think that's super cute that they got him to pose like that at like six months old. This is what I was using for washi tape storage and now it 
didn't fit many rolls, so I'm gonna try to use it for other stuff, but it's mostly empty. In the back, I don't know if we can see back there, but there's one hanging out, is where I put my wrapping paper because there's like a foot, not even, and it just, everything fits in there real nice. So I just yelled that, I apologize. I have no idea my volume control for any of this video. I hope it's not terrible. Okay, and finally, my bookshelf, bottom. That's those pirouettes that are actually pencils that I told you about. They used to go up here, but now I have too many books. I'm gonna have to reorganize some stuff and it's gonna be rough. But anyway, this bottom shelf is more Christmas stuff. So this box is Christmas supplies, this box is Christmas card supplies, and then this is perler beads, and there's more perler beads like right here that we can't see right now, but that is what's in there. And then here is my coloring book collection. So this shelf is like all the Christmas books and things like that. And then I have some extra supplies. And mostly these are right now um, screens for devices. So like watch screens, phone screens. What is that game called? Switch screens, things like that. Shelf two, these are like my more used ones overall. But again, I'm running out of space so this might get all rejigged. And shelf three are my giant Disney books and also these paint my sticker books. I might do one of those later. I haven't done them in a little bit. So you've seen these all if you saw my collection videos. Hopefully that'll be linked up here. You can do it, little guy. <clears throat> and then I feel like as a crafter, we're just always on the search for more storage things. So that is another container like these or, or these boxes are what's in there. And... Um, that has some like card making stuff. These are my Disney journals that I absolutely love that look like VHS cases. And then that's just another storage unit that sometimes lives on my desk and sometimes doesn't. So that's it. That's it in all its glory. I hope this tour wasn't too terrible with me being shaky and ridiculous, but I don't think I missed anything. If you think I missed something that you like kind of saw a peek of and want me to go into more detail, please let me know. Um, again, I have been crafting since 2007, like scrapbooking for certain consistently. So a lot of this was amassed over a long, long, long time. Even coloring, I have now been doing that for three plus years. So this didn't all happen overnight, but it did happen, so. And again, off screen over there is Sam has his own closet and his own unit that we will not be going through because that's his stuff. Oh, also I can show you, we do have, hey, a TV up on the wall. So there is that, but thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you anything else you wanna see from me, from my room, from anywhere, please let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't, like and comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.